So if you suspect that you have cold damage and you want to assess it, the very first thing to do is go out to your field and collect 100 shoots that are all of the same variety in more or less the same elevation from one part of the field. If you're at a higher elevation or you have a different cultivar, then you would treat that as another field or another set of samples. So you need 100 shoots and you will bring them back to the office or lab and you're gonna dissect the top two apical buds uh, those are your fruiting buds. You usually have fruiting buds going all the way down, but you are gonna dissect the top two apical buds because those are the ones that are most advanced and also most sensitive to cold damage. So when I cut to develop a model, I actually dissect the entire bud and we count every single flower initial inside of it, but it takes a while, you know, several minutes per bud. As a grower, with so many different cultivars and fields to assess, you can get a fairly good estimate by slicing it right in half from bottom to top. And you'll see the majority of the buds that are growing in this center area. You might miss the buds that are on each lateral or each side here, but that might only be one or two flower initials. And for a producer, it's worth uh, being able to cut more buds in the field to see the diversity that might be happening in the field than to spend so much time per individual bud. So we'll just take from bottom to top with a sharp razor blade and cut right down the middle. Okay, once you slice it, you're gonna see half of the bud, but inside of it, there are individual flower initials. So each one of these uh, little balls would turn into a flower and then each flower, of course, turns into a blueberry. So on average, for many of the high bush blueberries, we will experience somewhere between five, seven uh, flower initials inside of it if you get good fruit set. So uh, when you slice it in half, you can look and you often will see somewhere, depending on how fruitful it is, three to five buds. The ones that are green are, of course, alive, and the ones that are brown are dead. Sometimes you might see these small leaf tissues turn brown, and that's okay as long as your flower initial is still green on the inside. So your goal here would be to count the number of flower initials that are alive versus the number of flower initials that are dead, and you could get an estimate of how much uh, damage you have on your, in your buds. And again, remember to do it on the first two apical buds of the shoot.